Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. Today I have an Amazon haul to share with you. Um, I had it here in at home for a minute because um, I was waiting for all of the items to come in and I still don't have all of it in. But that being said, let's just get into it. I'm going to start with this. I picked up this uh, white glitter cardstock and it's eight and a half by 11. These are printable. So that means you can put them through your uh, inkjet printer. Um, I was trying to get my uh, regular glitter cardstock from Walmart here in the local area and I needed it right away, but um, they didn't have any. And then I didn't know that you could order it online with Walmart, but I, that's neither here or there, but I do have it. And now I got this one. It's the it looks pretty similar to the pen and gear at Walmart. Um, let's see what the quality feels like. And if you guys want, just make sure you look in the description box after watching the video. I usually will put the links there. It feels, it feels very similar, um, even the weight of it. So we'll see. With Walmart's um, pen and gear pack, you get 10, I believe. Um, I think this I got 15 but I paid a little bit more so we'll see this is like eight dollars but um I picked that up and then I also needed um, some vellum because I'm out of vellum and I like to print on vellum too so I did pick up this from Amazon this is the translucent vellum paper eight and a half by eleven it's also laser and inkjet friendly no bleed through, smooth surface, strong and stable. And uh, yeah, so let's open this up. And whoops. And whoops. Okay, well, there you go. It doesn't like to be open. <laughs> Let me just grab my scissors here and just cut it open. Oh my goodness, it's so difficult. <laughs> okay, there you go. And this is a pack of 110, 110 sheets compared to um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby where you only get a few sheets. I believe this was $12 for 110 pieces of vellum. Um, I think that, I think it was a good deal. And look, same, same characteristics, all that good stuff. And you could put it in the laser or your inkjet. And I just have an inkjet, so that's going to be fun to play with. Actually, let's just move this over because I don't want this video too long. And sticking with the papers and stuff, specialty papers, I picked up um, this, uh, what is this called? <laughs> acetate. This pack of acetate, you get 25, 12 by 12. Um, yeah, works with die cutting and Cricut machines, and you can also make stencils with this. So I'm not going to open this one. You know what it is. It's, it's a, well, actually, you know what? Let's just open it because we want to see what the quality of the acetate is, right? Why not? I'm going to open it anyway. It's going to take a minute, take a minute. Ugh. Guys, I'm just totally out of the specialty papers like that I'm always using, which is acetate, vellum, <clears throat> printable glitter card stock, that good stuff. So I made a big purchase. This is to me, this is big because I don't usually pick these up all at the same time. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. Every time I start talking, my throat wants to act up. And it is snowing again. It snowed early this morning, and now I have snow all over my car. <laughs> all right, so it looks pretty much the same as what I've picked up um, from Tuesday morning. And I've been using that Tuesday morning pack for years, guys, for years. And they're 12 by 12 inch. So this is pretty much the same weight as the one I get at Tuesday morning. And it's it's super clear, you can't really see it, but it's a good weight. And if you're just using it for shakers, you know, 
there you go. Um, this will go a long, long way unless you're making gigantic shakers. Like some of the party planner peoples, they do use acetate for their shakers. They make cake toppers and stuff. This is a great value. Um, I think, okay, that, that's all jacked up. <laughs> I, that's not the it's not the acetate it's just the tissue that separates the acetate but yeah I think this is a great value this is a craft plastic sheets 25 pack if you're interested again I will have it in the links in the description box down below all Amazon okay so this one I picked up we're gonna get into the dies now this one is a um, embossed embossing folder I, I don't usually use embossing folders but Louisa and Chiquita and Eve have been using those and I'm loving the texture this one has love and hearts all over it I hope you guys can see that if I can hold it I'm trying to find a good spot so you can see exactly there you go so I'm interested in playing with this and getting some uh pretty projects out of that so here we go let me get these all organized um i believe some of them are like a random all right so here we go this is a chaos craft die this is the you know the lips so i picked that up i love these lips it's a bag topper but you know you could use it so many different ways we've seen so many ladies working with that I picked up the candy jar these are gonna go great for Valentine's Day guys I love it comes with little candies and little party streamers on the side on the outside I do love this little candy jar I don't know if there's a larger size or smaller size but this was what was available at the time so I just picked that up and then I picked up the bunny the cute bunny face I don't know if this is a new release guys this is just what I saw on Amazon at the time and I snatched it <laughs> so and I love the dies at on Amazon from from KS craft because you get these bags and I love it because they're sturdy and I just keep them in those baggies because I won't lose and it won't rip through the lightweight plastics like like this stuff usually when you get dies in these they rip I like this because you could just keep it in the storage but this is the cute adorable bunny and he is just so precious um, from the tip of his ear to his chin he is almost almost three inches so two and five eighths I guess <laughs> guessing but you get all the layering pieces for him you get a teeny tiny bow and you get these beautiful flowers you could layer and add to embellish him super cute and he comes with glasses I just saw that there's a pair of glasses for him how cute okay all right so that's the bunny so we so far we got sweet treats we got Valentine's and we got Easter so another one I picked up because I don't have this in my stash this comes in handy for so many holidays so this is the marshmallow and I think it's a tag it looks like a tag but you don't have to use it as a tag remember we could use our dies in so many different ways he's also a sh you can make them into a shaker there's the layering pieces so very very cute um and you get a little one too you get a little one and a medium so large medium small you also get the chocolate drizzle I can't wait I can't wait to play with this one so fun okay so that was KS crafts and um, I was I'm still waiting on a few more KS craft dies the probably some of their new releases but that's what came in so far and then this one I picked up because it's been in my cart forever it's the gingerbread you know you can see it he's the gingerbread man or girl or boy whichever he's also got the antlers he's got the whip you could put that on him he's got a um, I think oh he has a scarf I have no clue what that is 
a dress he's got hearts and stars you could use this for any holiday and then you've got bows that you can layer up on the gingerbread so that is cute this is just a I don't know some random company on Amazon they had it it was only like three dollars this one was less than three dollars this is the candy jar and it looks like this and you got that and I love it because I want to use this and turn it into a um, a shaker which you can do if you don't know you can make that into a shaker or layer it up and then this is a jar another jar this is ZF party and my problem with this is I keep confusing ZF party with um, KS crafts so some of my dies that I do have from Amazon <laughs> I might be claiming them as KS Crafts, but some of them I think are ZF parties. So I'm gonna just take this off because these are the things that tear our bags. <laughs> these little prongs, I'm just toss that. So this little potion bottle is adorable. Comes with a little bow and a label. Turn it into a shaker, just like that. You also get the little layering piece, which is so cute. And, um, yeah, you could you could make some cute um, embellishments with these. So I can't wait to play with that. And then this one, another ZF party. It is, I think it's a jar also. One of those fancy jars. Yep, perfume bottles. So it's got the hearts, and these were under under five dollars, I think also can make this into a shaker and I can't wait to play with these so there you go bunch of Amazon uh, pickups those are the dies that I picked up and I can't wait to play with these and then let me move that I did pick up this box of tools um, It's fancy. I'm just trying to get in the box there. Come on. Look at these. <laughs> I believe you get two, four, you get six for it. I think it was eight dollars. But look at the color. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. So it's the reverse tweezers. So you're not squeezing to hold on to some uh, little item. You could or you know hold it like that and your hand doesn't have to continuously squeeze just like that whoops but isn't it cute and I love the finish on it it's got all the uh, rainbow colors on there <laughs> and then you also get black so I see the you get a blue and a pink of the rainbow you get a blue and the pink in the black and you also get blue and a pink and silver. So isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. I can't wait. I can't, oops. I can't wait. <clears throat> so I know I'm keeping <laughs> one of each color. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I will, I don't know, I'm going to do something with them. <laughs> gonna be fun it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun so can't wait can't wait so don't forget if you're new to my channel please feel free subscribe hit the subscribe button and when you do subscribe go ahead and hit the notification bell and what that will do is tell you when I do live shows on my channel or uh, my next videos and uh, when I post some stuff in the communities so um, Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye. Oh, yeah. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Bye.